the recent volatility of the markets has brought the importance of retirement savings and long-term investing front and center for many Americans. My next guest, a respected leader in both the worlds of finance and economics, is the perfect person to discuss how to manage this madness and save wisely for the long term. For seven years, Roger Ferguson was the vice chairman of the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors during the Clinton and Bush administrations under Alan Greenspan. In 2008, he became the president and CEO of TIAA, celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. With more than a trillion dollars in assets under management in more than 50 countries, TIAA is a leader in helping Americans retire for retirement and thinking long term about their investment plans. Roger Ferguson, it is good to have you on the program. Maria, thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you so much for joining us. First off, got to ask you about this volatility. I mean, we see these wild swings, so much nervousness in the market. I know you're a long-term thinker, but what is your reaction to what we've seen this year versus a long time with no volatility? Um, my reaction falls in two or three different camps. First, uh, in any market cycle, there will be moments of volatility. So we had a long period with, frankly, too low volatility, so now maybe it's getting back to normal. Secondly, I think it's really a reflection of a number of external circumstances and question marks in the market. So the big question mark is, is inflation about to rear its ugly head? Will the Fed have to move much more quickly than anticipated? And that, I think, is a fairly legitimate question. It reflects monetary and fiscal uh, backdrops. And obviously, uh, because the market has been doing so well for so long, there are a number of people who are saying, gee, how much is left on the upside? And is this now a good time to take some off the table? And finally, uh, there are some technical reasons, uh, short covering, as it's called, that might have driven some of the volatility. You know, Roger, you oversaw the Fed along with Alan Greenspan in a time of really uh, import for the markets. It was an important moment in time. Alan Greenspan, I remember, he always looked at the wealth effect. You focused on the wealth effect as well in terms of assessing where we are in the economy. As you look back on this last decade where any economic stimulus we talked about was coming from the Federal Reserve, leaving interest rates at rock bottom levels, it's time to get out of that, right? I mean, what's your take on where things are going? Look, I, I think most would agree it's time for the Fed to start the process of normalizing. The question is the pace at which that needs to be done. Uh, and what was very interesting is the Fed kept interest rates low for maybe longer than many people thought was wise. But to date, that bet has paid off in the sense that the unemployment rate has continued to come down. And we really haven't seen inflation creeping up above the Fed's 2 percent target. And so, you know, it's a little early to say they're behind the curve, but everyone thinks it's probably time to start the process of gradually normalizing. So you think things are pretty good right now in the macro picture? I think the macro picture right now is pretty good. Um, and what I mean by that is growth continues uh, here in the U.S. And importantly, for the first time in over a decade, we have global growth in Europe, China, other places. So that's very positive. We finally start to see just the gradual uptick in wages, uh, which obviously is very important to the average American. Uh, the unemployment rate, as I indicated, has been coming down gradually, steadily, without an uptick uh, in inflation. Uh, and corporate earnings still look pretty strong. And after the tax, uh, tax law, would expect that to increase. So I'd say, yes, I'm pretty constructive on the way the economy looks right now. But, I mean, you look at an economy that is getting better. I mean, there are predictions of 4% growth this year. As an economy gets better, wages go up. Here we are talking about jobs, and people are worried that wages are up 3% or under 3% year over year. Does that worry you? I think it's too early to be worried about wages being up. You know, wages being up should be thought of as a net positive thing, as long as it doesn't spill over into inflation. The other thing that we haven't talked about is inflation expectations seem very well anchored, which is if they say that the Fed has a great deal of credibility in markets left. So I think it's a little too early to say we really got to put on the brakes because we want to see wage growth slow down. That, that I think is not fair to middle America as long as there's no sign of inflation picking up. But this year is different because it's not just interest rate increases that we're watching from the Federal Reserve, potentially three or four. It's also the unwinding of the balance sheet. Four and a half trillion dollars. Have you ever seen this happen in your career? No, no, it's never happened. It's unprecedented. Right. But I do think the Fed is handling it to date very well, most importantly by being very transparent about what they expect to do. And the markets seem to have uh, taken it uh, in stride thus far.